I don't know what video is going to make it up first, but you'll see in the background the hints of of the video. If this one's first, the channel update. A couple of treat for the channel, guys. <laughs> what happened last week? I, I didn't know. I knew something weird was happening the last four or five months, the turn of the year. I mentioned it to a couple people, like something happened with the channel. Just, I don't know how to explain it because my, <laughs> I do marketing analysis, marketing branding. What happened last week is a marketing manager's utopia. It, 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 it doesn't happen. It, it, it doesn't. It's probably because I'm not selling anything. I'm just I'm doing honest stuff. And um, I'm coming into my own as a critic. And I never want to be an influencer, but as an actual critic. And the attention it's being given, I, I had no clue. A little bit, I knew something was happening. What happened Saturday, I had no clue. I'm humbled, I'm humbled you guys follow me. Not, not, we're not talking about just following me. My channel's not big. Channel's 10 times bigger than me. Do not produce what happened analytics-wise. Um, let's get into it. So I put a video out last week. This thing's gonna sell out in five minutes. One person who's kicked off the channel now. I'm not about subscribers, kicked them off the channel. See ya. I'm not about numbers. Um, but um, I gave him, gave him like 10 chances and I really got a feeling that he was one of the guys that was going to be able to resell his bottle and, and he couldn't. And he called what I was doing hype and I tried to get into it with him and the more I learned, I'm like, he's never even watched me before. He's just making all these assumptions. That title was for you guys and you guys responded. I, I can't believe the response. I know because... I don't text much, and I texted like 500 times on Saturday. All I was doing was on my phone, just, I don't, that's not me. My friends, <laughs> I was kind of with them in and out during the day, doing shopping for an upcoming, making these homemade, got a pizza oven, like 1500 degree oven, so I had a bunch of greens for that for my birthday, and just in and out of place, and I'm just on my phone like a millennial. And it's, it's not me. They're like, what the heck? Who is he? They don't know about my fragrance. But they don't know any of this. This is new to me. And your attitude. I'm so proud. I'm proud to have you guys as, as followers, subscribers. Just the right attitude. I asked Gino to do his video on, on, on purpose. I knew he'd have a tone. I didn't know it was going to be th th that deep. I didn't know he's going to know it that deep. It was amazing just the reflection of, and I was in the same spot. I, I did not expect to get this. I think I was number 25. I created this title, made it harder for me to get it. And I did it for you guys and this channel and what we're doing here, because I want to find good stuff. I want to push perfumers and find good stuff. I don't want to push anything else but that. The story, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this is fact. It's pretty close to fact. Um, this is all under five minutes. I put the name of the perfume title too. So if I was trying to uh, uh, clickbait it, like this guy tried to accuse me of also and another. Anyways, it went on further than that. I'm not offended at those things at all. I would have left those up. It, it got more personal than that. <laughs> I called him names too, and, and but he wouldn't come around and he deserved not to get a bottle. I'm happy. Those are the kind of people I don't want having bottles. If you have an attitude about not or getting it, you're missing the whole point of the connection to fragrance that I'm trying to exemplify on my channel. This connection, they evoke good perfume from good perfumers evokes something. These are, compo these are living compositions just like music is. They speak to you. Everything Gino said, I didn't know about the podcast of Henley and everything. I did the review before that. I didn't hear Henley say that at all hands, say that at all. But I smelt it. Everything that he said in his podcast of American Perfumer, I smelt that from the bottle. That's how real that smell was to me. That's, that's what I'm connecting with, and I think that's, that's what I'm getting. I know what you guys are waiting for. So, some hate mail. Like, Brian, are you crazy? What are you saying all this crazy stuff? 
for him. Like, is it crazy if it's fact? It's all fact. I will eat my words if it's not fact. I have no problem doing that. But most of it's turning out to be fact that I'm saying. If not, I'll be the first one to put it in a description. So far, none of these predictions I've been wrong on. I said under five minutes. I knew it was gonna be 15 minutes. I wanted to shrink it to five minutes on purpose, not to hype it up, not to give American perfumer problems like happened, but to, on um, this the reason. I know in the past four or five months, it's been made aware to me that people are profiting off of my reviews in the aftermarket. I wanna stop that. I don't make no money. I buy my fragrances. The, the, the one to 2% that's watching, I will thwart your plans, quit it. I will put my head together and thwart your plans. So just, you better quit it. People that buy in the aftermarket, just don't, don't. These perfumers will make more. Might not be the same thing. You, and the whole point is, you're gonna meet these friends at conventions that want not, this thing's growing. People are traveling or will after COVID. Share. I mean, my whole, I'm able to have so many fragrances. Whenever somebody like when Christo came to Portland, whoever comes to Portland, choose your ones. Let, let's just spray. I want to share. That's part of the journey. It's part of the journey. So what did happen? I, I think it was under 30 seconds they had to shut the site down, and and more than double got sold. We broke the commerce system, which shouldn't have, have happened. Dave handled it perfectly. Your guys' response was awesome. You guys said, I know, I know a lot of you that didn't get it, I'm sorry, but your response, I know your responses and the private messages, it's not, it's okay. So anyways, I wanted to give you guys kudos for that. More of a channel update. I've been pushing so many things for many, many reasons. People, I don't let people know my reasons. If you can see, I'm getting followed like crazy now. There's certain, I know where the ideas come from. I know my ideas. I was heavy into the fragrance community before I started reviewing me and I watch everybody's content. I just, I know train of thought and seeds being introduced into a category market. That's growing up doing it for people as a business. Here, I'm doing it for free. I know what I'm doing. I put so many videos up because I don't want to get so many subscribers. That's the trick. <laughs> if I literally put some of these hit videos up and set on them for three weeks, my subscribers would grow like crazy. That's how YouTube works. So I'm trying to suppress that all as much as I can before the tipping point. <laughs> and it's, but, but what the, the loyalty that I, I've garnered, I didn't expect. I did not see that coming. I'm amazed at the loyalty that happened. 30 seconds. <clears throat> I had no clue. I, I had no clue at that response. There's gonna be more. That's the point. Um, me, myself, and I, what I have been doing during COVID is I've transformed an entire space I mean, I took out, it was set up for three employees. I took all of that out and built up a perfume studio, a professional perfume studio. I'm gonna start getting into that serious. I've smelt enough. My, my next step, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put myself under somebody. I'm gonna show, we're, we're gonna kind of video it together on the channel. It's, it's kind of huge. And um, it, it's a one of a kind teaching. So we'll do that as the next step. I might show a picture here of the studio. It's just really, it needs organized now, but the whole, all the new spaces in and a lot of the, how I can move around the tabletops of where I want to do stuff is set up. So um, maybe let's take a picture of where I'm at there as a tease and we'll get in there when it's all really working and doing stuff and showcasing that. But um, that's what I've been doing. It's a big part of the channel update here. I, and again, I did not, 
I was blown away Saturday what happened. What what's next? What else do we have? I got a couple more faction things I gotta cover. That that was quite the big task this year. I don't know why I'm, I think because I put them through full reviews. Maybe I should just take, <laughs> I don't know. Some things deserve full reviews, some things don't, but then if I do it that way, <laughs> you kind of know where I'm gonna be at. I, I kind of want to do a video before it. Again, I don't want to manipulate, I don't, who knows who watches me anymore? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty amazed at what's happening. Um, <laughs> I've gotten some compliments behind the scenes and I'm, I'm pretty amazed, humbled. I, I didn't know. So right now my, my language is gonna turn because I know a lot of stuff I'm saying is being watched like crazy in the community. So um, that's good, we're growing, we're growing together. Where am I at with this? Getting into the perfumery, getting the old faction awards done. Of course, I'll, I'll continue the scoring system the reviews, hunting down the good stuff. I mean, Bloodline, I didn't, I, I wrote a review last year after, after I smelled it. And then um, I'm like, I, talk, I did talk to Han, Hans right away after smelling it. He hinted that it'd be remade. I peppered that in my videos in the last year. And as soon as I knew it was being remade, I went and reviewed it again. I didn't look at the old one, so I got to compare them. I was one point off. It was pretty cool to see how close they were. And the point was it went higher this year, but it aged, it, it, it got more refined. And before I said anything like that, uh, another commenter who smelled it said that same thing, so that was cool. So we'll keep the scoring system. I'll show you what I'm learning. I'll, I'll do the best I can, see how it's received and doing the perfume stuff. I'm not gonna, um, uh, I mean, I'm scared to show the tinctures cause I'm, I don't know if I'm doing stuff right, if it's gonna turn out right. I don't, I'll show the process once I get it down to, I don't wanna teach wrong stuff. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't wanna teach any wrong stuff. It's high exper experimentation, of course, I'm watching YouTube videos and learning from other people, but there, there are tar secrets that uh, I don't know, that I can smell. I can, I'm like, these guys are doing something different than these guys, because this stuff just smells, it's a different level. So I think that's where my conumptions have been. It's like, how are they achieving that? And these guys aren't with naturals, so. Won't name names, but I know there's skills that that, that 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 have been learned. Talking to them now, so they're open to to teaching me some stuff. So, yeah, uh, as much as they'll let me, I'll share what I can. All right, that's quick. I mean, I have a lot more updates. I don't want to rant or vent in this one. I just really want to like keep the scoring system. Kind of start making perfume and the community that I've cultivated. Thank you. I'm, I'm so humbled. I, I didn't, until that happened, I, I didn't, because I only talked to a small percent of you. I didn't know there were more that felt the exact same way. And that stream was just a locomotive. I was like, oh my goodness. Anyways, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're doing... We're doing good stuff together. You guys trust in me. So I'm gonna stay on my mission. We keep finding perfumers, pushing perfumers. I'm talking to more of them now than ever. Oh, last update. You guys, I have so much stuff that people, cause it takes a lot of cojones to send me something. I get that. One, I'm nervous to score something. And two, perfumers are like, cause I'll, I'll, I'll find these brands. <laughs> And then people point out to me and then I'll start talking to them. Then all of a sudden there's this weird moment. That's when they go check out my videos and see how I score things. Because other reviewers just fluff and puff and we all live in a magical candy land. And they're like, holy crap, he's going to critique my perfume. Do I want that? So then there's that. <laughs> I have a ton of people sending me stuff that are wanting to come into market that are just... They're doing what we've been talking They're hunting exquisite materials nobody else is touching, putting together stuff. So 
the future is bright. I can say that. And I'll, I'll highlight them. A juice is always the juice, no matter what. Even the, the fragrance reviewers, of course, I'm nervous to go seek them out. I mean, that, it's big for me to put them on this channel. So I, I, I don't seek them out. It, Peter, what he did, I mean, he literally said, put up your review, I want your honest opinion. I offered him a private review. First, he said, put it up. Can't say more, and I'll protect Peter to the, to the ends. What he's doing is exceptional. He's got exceptional stuff on the way that he announced in a live stream after a question I asked him. So I, he usually takes the live streams down, so I don't know how public it is, but holy crap, we got something good coming out from him. I'm not even talking about the auction fragrance. I'm talking about a bigger release than that um, near Christmas time again. So I, I, I wish I was talking with him in the live stream. I wouldn't ask so much more, but so we got that coming. Other stuff coming. Future's bright in perfumery. 2020, what the heck just happened? I have just got some knockout bottles this year. It's been good. All right, everyone. We film this other one, this other special. Peace to you. Love you guys. I'm out. Be blessed.